In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your first 10,000 views in 2018 and share the methods that I use to get there. And don't forget, if you want to continue to build a foundation for YouTube success, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you click that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. Hi and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier and it is my mission to simplify YouTube so you and I can grow together. Today I want to talk about getting your first 10,000 views on YouTube. It may seem like a daunting task, but with a little bit of effort and the right methods, you can definitely get there. I want this video to act as a step-by-step -step guide to help you achieve your first 10,000 views. Let's get started. All right, so the best way to learn is to do. So you definitely want to start right now. It's really important that you get started and learn as you go along. It's kind of hard to understand all the ways that you can continually improve upon if you're not actually making videos. So pick up your camera or your phone and start making videos now. Alright, so to be perfectly honest with you, I had a much different idea of the way I was going to construct this video, but I wanted to jump back into my analytics and actually see where most of my traffic came from just the first 10,000 views on my channel Creator Fundamentals, and I was actually surprised at what I found. All right, so I want to share this data with you strictly in terms of views. Now, depending on the origin of the views, the watch time can vary a bit because you tend to get more watch time from your subscribers. But just focused on the views, I'm going to share with you my analytics and where the most views came from and what I did to drive those views to YouTube. All right, so first off, I want to let you know that Creator Fundamentals reached 10,000 views in three months and 13 days. Now keep in mind, I have a full-time career and a family, so I do this stuff on the side. So my time is limited uh, more so than somebody who is jumping into this full-time. So you could definitely get to 10,000 views quicker than I did, but this is just gonna give you an idea of how long it took me and how I did it. All right, so in terms of driving the most views to my channel, over this three month period, the actual top performer was external, coming in at 24% of my views. That means external sources such as social media, Facebook, I used a website called Trending, uh, as well as other social media platforms to promote my channel. Now, this was a bit surprising to me because I am absolutely convinced at the importance of keyword research on YouTube. And what I actually found is that across those 10,000 views towards like the last quarter of them is when all the effort that I had put in for keyword research really started to take off and get me to 10,000 views faster. So you definitely want to focus on your keyword research, but the results definitely uh, provide some value or some proof in the value of working on promoting your channel via social media. And I want to show you and explain to you exactly how you go about doing that because it's not all about link dropping. All right, so if you're already subscribed to the channel, you've certainly heard me talk about it before, but if you're new here, welcome, and I want to share with you the importance of building community, especially on social media platforms like Facebook. You really want to focus on building community rather than just dropping a link and running. And when I say building community, it's all about finding Facebook groups that are associated to your niche, that have like-minded people who are interested in similar kind of content, and start to interact. Don't go there and drop a link, go there and check out some other channels, start talking to people, make some relationships, and really become part of the community before you ever think about sharing. That's what ultimately gives you the effectiveness of that as a platform to share your content with people when you develop those relationships and people are therefore interested when you have something new out that they want to go and check out. All right, so once you've built that community, you want to go ahead and check out this video up here in the card, which is all about how to promote your YouTube channel using social media. It will give you some step-by-step -step instructions on the best way to share your content in a engaging way to encourage people to come check it out. And hey, before you forget, click the like button. That way this video will show up in your liked videos and you can come back and use it as a guide to go through and watch all these videos as you continue to improve upon your YouTube channel. All right, so the next two sources of views were actually tied. The first one on the list was 
traffic directly from my channel page. This is going to lend itself to that promotion on social media where people came to check out the channel and then watch videos. But also once they're on the channel, you want to give them an opportunity to see as much of your content as possible. So you definitely want to go through the process of adding sections and displaying vertical playlists, as many as you can fit on your main channel. And uh, let me know in the comments below if you're not familiar with how to do this. And I'll, I'll dedicate a video to showing you how to set up your channel page and how you can make that most effective. And those thumbnails I just mentioned, they played a big role in the next section too. But hey, before we move over to that last section, I just want to let you know that the channel art on your page, at the very least when you're starting out, should explain to people what your channel is all about. Even if you're not some great graphic artist, just getting some basic text up there that identifies who you are, what you do, clear and concise, that identifies exactly what type of topics you're planning on covering, can be super helpful in encouraging people to watch more of your content. Definitely check out my video on branding to help give you an idea of exactly how that works and how you can use it to drive more views. All right, so the next section that was virtually tied with my channel page views was browse feature. Now, browse feature uh, encompasses a number of uh, different areas, but ultimately, Browse feature is all the product of how well you've created your thumbnails and whether they are encouraging people to uh, come check out your content. Okay, so for me in browse feature, most of those views came from the home screen and also subscriptions. So again, it's those thumbnails that people are presented with that, is, that are ultimately going to make them decide whether or not it's worth checking out your video. Thumbnails are super important and something that you should work on and continue to improve over time. But having a general understanding of how uh, thumbnails should work for you and how they should interact with your title is super important and super relevant, especially when you're just starting out. And I actually created a video all about how to create engaging thumbnails and you can actually check it out in the card. I'll throw it up there and uh, it, uh, really goes into how I created the thumbnails on this page and how they have helped me to gain those views in the amount of time that I did. All right, so the next section that drove the most views to my channel was YouTube search. YouTube search is all about your ability to understand YouTube SEO and set up your uh, description and title and keyword phrases to help people find your content. Again, another super important topic. Uh, I have also created a video that goes in step by step and shows you exactly how to do keyword research. It's something that you absolutely have to learn if you wanna take your uh, channel to the next level and continue to grow. I'll throw the video right up here. You can go check it out and it will show you everything you need to know about how keyword research works what YouTube cares about, and exactly how you can use that to help drive more views to your channel. So if you're struggling to get to 10,000 views or you're just looking for ways to get there a little bit faster, definitely save this video by clicking that like button and refer to it as often as you need to. Check out the videos that I've linked in the cards. All of those are going to help give you fundamentals and strategies and methods that I used to get my first 10,000 views and the views beyond 10,000 and they can absolutely help. So if you're not doing them, you're a little bit behind the ball and I definitely recommend you watch those videos check it out, understand what they're telling you, and start to implement it on your channel. And hey, if you have questions about any of this stuff, definitely leave them in the comments below. I check them on a regular basis and I will get back to you and try to help you out as much as I can. And hey, if you've been bitten by the YouTube demonetization monster, head on over to notsuitableforalladvertisers.com where I've created a free guide on how to help you protect yourself from YouTube demonetization. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you would like to be alerted to future videos that help simplify YouTube, be sure to click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. That's all the time we have for today. My name is Dan Courier, and you're watching Creator Fundamentals. Thank you.